Hello, and welcome to another episode of Exact Text brought to you by Actionable Insights. My name is Seth Harrison, and today I want to talk about combining rooms. There is a hotkey in Xactimate that allows you to combine two rooms into one. It is Control Shift C all at the same time. So let me show you how that's done and uh, show you a potential application of why you would do this in the first place. So first and foremost, we're going to start here in an Xactimate 28 estimate. And I'm going to zoom in on the first section that I'm looking at. And we have two rooms here, room one and room two. Let's say, for example, that let's delete this wall here. That this is really meant to be one room. But in order to sketch it, I had to sketch it as two rooms uh, based on different ceiling sizes or something along those lines uh, to get this correct. Well, I can actually select these two rooms. And now that I have them both highlighted, I'm going to hit Control, Shift, and C at the same time. Now you can see it turned room two into a subroom. Now, when I click room one, it's both rooms. And if I wanted to, I can go here into the room and, oh, I undid that. Click that tag, hit the properties, show label, no. So now it looks like I have just one big room um, in this instance. I believe that it does matter which room you select first. So if I select room first, or room two first, and then room one, it control shift she. Control Shift C. Now room one is the subroom. So whichever room you want to be the main room uh, for the purposes of estimating, you should make sure that you select that one before hitting Control Shift C after you've selected them all. Now let's talk about why somebody might be doing this. Let's take a look at a situation I built here. Uh, there are four rooms in this case that surround room six and room five surround the two smaller rooms. I've changed the ceiling heights on room three and four. Uh, such that they are two feet higher. So these out here are eight feet and these in here are ten feet. In a loss, uh, in a weird ceiling like this, that you may need to be painting those, uh, those, those additional raised ceiling areas and the soffits around them, you're going to need to be able to sketch it this way in order to calculate the extra square footage of those spaces. So for example, I want to combine these rooms and I'm going to say room five is my main room. So I'm going to select that, then that, than that, than that, and I'm holding control in order to select multiple rooms at the same time. Now I'm going to keep holding control and hit control shift C. Now I have subrooms, and you notice uh, they're right here. Here's all the subrooms, and I can remove those labels if I wanted to. But when I generally highlight over room five, it's selecting all of them. Uh, let us go here and then show you what this would look like to delete the rest of these. So now I have these, these two raised areas, and yeah, I didn't exactly do what I wanted to do, but let's, I would have to do what I did for the rest of them. Okay, I'm not going to do that now, but in order to make this wall what I did, I made it a missing wall that goes up to eight feet. In order to do that everywhere here, I would have to make the same thing, missing end to end, yes to yes, opening does not go to ceiling, it goes to eight feet. So as you can see here, I'll have another missing wall below of where there would not be a wall and then the raised sections that would be here and here accordingly missing end to end yes it is does it go to ceiling no it does not it only goes to eight feet so it's showing you again that i now have this additional soffit space here and here on the inside that i would need to calculate um, so how does why that's one reason why we'd be control shift scene for these funky roof uh, ceilings that we come across one thing I want to point out is that if you do uh, combine rooms in this manner with Control Shift C, it's very important that you are careful uh, how you are estimating them, especially if you're graphically estimating. Let's put in a PNT paint line at them. Now, if I just hold it over here, it's only going to add it to that area. If I put it over here, it's only going to add it to room four, or right here is room six. But if I put it in room five, it's going to make sure that the entire uh, walls and ceilings are painted one coat appropriately. So please make sure that your missing walls are, are, are there uh, and the uh, algorithm math of exact mate 28 should take care of the rest. This has been uh, combining rooms with control shift C. I hope you enjoyed this exact hack. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you next Thursday.